Understanding and troubleshooting old junction box wiring. Single pole switch. Troubleshooting procedures. To troubleshoot and repair particularly old junction box wiring after any mishaps or loss of control of the wiring when replacing an electrical device, you must familiarize yourself with the different wiring options found inside the junction boxes and understand how the wiring is done and how it works. This is a complete troubleshooting guide. Just like I do over the phone by asking a DIYer questions who follows the instructions until the problem is solved. As an electrical beginner or DIYer, it is difficult to understand the wiring by looking into an open junction box when all the wiring is hidden behind drywall. This guide will help you understand the wiring. Scenario 1A. One gang switch junction box with wires secured with wire nuts. The old switch was disconnected and removed. Some of the wires were disconnected and unmarked. One light fixture is not working. The junction box is open. You look inside and see that it is a metal junction box with two metal sheathed cables entering the junction box, secured under one cable clamp. The first cable contains three wires, white, black, red. The second cable contains two wires, white, black. The two white wires from both cables are spliced together with a wire nut. All other wires are secured with wire nuts. Use a non-contact voltage tester to check if voltage is present. If so, find the circuit breaker and turn it off. Mark the breaker and make sure no one can turn it on while you are working on this circuit. Using a non-contact voltage tester, make sure the power is turned off. Pull the wires out of the junction box and spread them apart. Make sure the ends of all wires secured with wire nuts are stripped approximately one half inch. Secure exposed wire ends with wire nuts. In this junction box, the spliced white wires indicate that this is a neutral wire passing through the junction box if the wiring complies with the NEC. Sometimes spliced white wires can also provide a hot return to a light fixture from another three-way switch. This is most often, but very rarely. When a voltage tester shows that the black wire of the two conductor cable is live and someone unprofessional has connected the switch and light fixture without any knowledge of NEC. When the black wire of the two wire cable is hot, pay attention to it. Restore power. Use a non-contact voltage tester to check which wire is energized. The voltage tester shows that the black wire of the three-wire cable is live. Memorize this wire or mark it with a piece of black tape or other means. With this type of wiring in the junction box, if a voltage tester shows that the white wires are energized and the rest are not, this may indicate reverse polarity in the electrical circuit, which is very dangerous and must be repaired. In this scenario, the black wire of the three-wire cable is hot. This means that this light fixture can be controlled by a single pole or three-way switch. Also in case the remaining wires, red from three-wire cable or black from two-wire cable, are hot, the switch that controls the lighting fixture can be single pole or three-way. When the black or red wire of the three-wire cable is hot, there is no need to check the white wire whether it is neutral or not. We assume that the white wire is the neutral wire. If the black wire of a two-wire cable is hot, it is good practice to ensure that the white wire is the neutral wire. The hot, black, wire from the three-wire cable can be the power wire or traveler wire from the three-way switch. 
If the hot, black, wire from the three-wire cable is the traveler wire from another three-way switch, the black wire from the two-wire cable should be the wire connected to the light fixture. Test 1. Turn off the power. Using a wire nut, connect the hot, black, wire from the three-wire cable to the black wire from the two-wire cable. Restore power. If the light fixture is on, it means the black wire from the two-wire cable is connected to the light fixture. If the light fixture is still turned off, this means the two-wire cable is powering other electrical outlets. Cable to power other outlets. Turn off the power. Test 2. Disconnect the connected black wires and secure the black wire from two-wire cable wire with a wire nut. Now connect the hot, black, wire from the three-wire cable to the red wire of the same cable. Restore power. The light fixture should turn on. If the light fixture still does not light up, the cause may be a bad light bulb, a damaged light bulb socket or something wrong with the connection of the lighting fixture, loose wire splicing, loose light fixture connection, broken wire. In this case, check the lighting fixture. The light fixture is on, which means the red wire from the three-wire cable is connected to the light fixture. The black wire from the two-wire cable that powers other electrical outlets should be spliced with hot, black, wire from the two-wire cable. Turn off the power. Disconnect the red wire from the black, hot, wire. Take a piece of black wire of the same diameter for the pigtail and splice it together with the black wire from the two-wire cable and the black wire from the three-wire cable. The pigtail wire and the red wire will be connected to the hot terminals of the single pole switch in any order. Wire Connection Diagram The diagram and sketch have been matched, showing the cables. Sketch of the light fixture connection. Red, hot, wire connected to a lighting fixture. White, neutral, wire spliced inside the junction box and connected to the lighting fixture. Cables behind the finished wall. Cable from the power source. Cable between the switch junction box and the light fixture junction box. Cable to another electrical outlets. Hot, black, wires from the power source cable and the three-wire cable to the switch junction box, spliced inside the light outlet junction box. The wires that will be connected to the hot terminals of the single pole switch. Neutral wire, white, spliced inside the switch junction box. Hot wires, black, and a pigtail spliced inside the switch junction box. There may be more than two cables in the light fixture junction box. In this situation, one of these cables is the power cable and the other is the cable that powers other electrical outlets. The power cable may also contain two circuits, the second of which may pass through the electrical outlet junction box. Two branch circuits in one cable have and share the same neutral wire. When working in a junction box through which a hot wire from another circuit passes and the neutral conductor is common to both circuits, both circuits existing in the junction box should be turned off. A particularly dangerous situation occurs when the common neutral wire is open while any of the branch circuits are energized. After opening the neutral wires while an electrical device, light bulb, phone charger, is operating in the other circuit, the return path of the current from this device to the electrical panel is open. Touching an open, 
Live neutral wire during work can close the path of return current to the electrical panel through the body, which could result in an electric shock that could be fatal. We have two wires to connect to the hot terminals, gold screws, of the single pole switch. Where is the third wire, the most important for people's safety, the ground wire? To ensure proper and safe operation, a 120 volts AC electrical circuit must contain three wires, a ground wire, a neutral wire, and a hot wire. As a third wire, ground wire. The metal sheath of a BX or similar cable acts in the same way as the ground conductor inside an NM, non-metallic sheathed, cable. It is important that the metal jacket of the cable is not damaged, and is properly secured with the cable clamps of the junction box, not loose and correctly inserted into the knockout and cable clamp. The metal junction box acts as a common ground bar for cables and pigtails. The NEC, National Electrical Code, requires that all switches be properly grounded. Grounding the switch by securing it to a metal junction box with the two switch mounting screws is not permitted by NEC. To properly ground the switch to a metal junction box, install a grounding pigtail from the junction box and connect it to the ground terminal of the switch. To install a grounding pigtail for the switch from the junction box, Locate the threaded hole for the ground screw on the back of the junction box. Take a piece of green or bare wire of the same diameter, make a loop at the end of the wire, and use the ground screw, green, to attach the pigtail wire to the junction box. Trim the pigtail wire to desired length, no shorter than 6 inches. The screw hole of the cable clamp can also be used for the ground screw after removing the cable clamp, same thread size. The same troubleshooting procedure can be performed on the PVC junction boxes where ground wires already exists. Connect the switch as follows. Ground wire, pigtail, green or bare, from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Hot wire, black, and wire to the light fixture, red, from the junction box to the hot terminals, gold screws, of the switch. Insert the wires with the connected switch into the junction box. Secure the switch to the junction box and install the wall plate. 